Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. This time I want to show you our van that became from Mark to Markenstein. So it was one year that we developed a new project. It's something that is going on since probably the first year that we have our California coach, the classic with the pop-up roof. The high roof was a project that uh, it just came into my head many years ago, but sometimes we didn't have the money and we didn't have the time. So finally last year we found everything together and we spent one year to rebuild completely our van. First of all, I want to thank all the people that collaborate and the companies that collaborate to this project. It's really a project, it's not just like the rebuilding of the van as we did many years ago in 2017 in Greece for the rust and uh, metal sheet. This is a, a brand new van, so we have a new engine. We went from 68 horsepower to 110 is the classic Golf 3 engine uh, F1, I think, yes. So we have six gears and we also add the 4x4 transmission. So it's something that I really want to keep a small van, but that can bring us even to more remote places and without having the uh, fear of not coming back as happens many times or be stuck in one place. So a compact van that uh, also have enough space with the high roof and not the pop-up for us for living. You know, the classic Vespalia was built only for vacation and weekends and short vacations. So this one is my kind of van. So I will call it Vespalia Digital Nomads. I still want to be a Vespalia, but it's for people like us that live full time in a van. After the engine works, we also start with the conversion. So we change the pop-up roof and we put the high roof. And the project, it was, it was almost a work in progress because every day I have new ideas about it and I want to really go to find our needs and put everything inside. So starting from the fact that we both work online, so we need a good space during the day for us to work and be relaxed. As well, we have a wonderful kitchen that you will see in a bit. Plus, we have a hot shower inside the van. I never saw something similar. So it's something that really amused me to uh, rebuild the van in the way we want, in the way we know we need, because after nine years in a California coach, I think uh, we had enough, I would say, experience in order to think of the best layout we can, we can do and we can create out of the same vehicle. I think that's enough for now. Uh, I will take a tour outside first and then we can go inside. So let's see what happens outside. You can see there's no more pop-up roof. There's the high roof with two windows on both sides. Plus I also change the side windows, three windows. One is on the side door, the other one right where is the new kitchen. And on the other side as well, this is in order to create some airflow inside the van. And it really works during really hot day. This one is a new uh, awning. We still got the old one just in case but this one is more practical you just pop out and it got the two legs and uh, I think we, we didn't really try it that much it's only one week that we're back on the road so but I think will be very useful uh, again in the hot days in order to create some shade in the back I was kind of forced to put my uh, spare tires outside because now there is the 4x4 system under. This one I create also some space inside here so I can open it and I got some tools here. We kind of create any kind of space especially on the outside of the van and I always forgot to put these back where it belong. All right. Okay, so this is something that we built last year, even before to start all the conversion. Down here we got 
10 liters tank plus we got 73 liters inside. They're very useful because I will use them a lot in order to charge the tank inside but i create a really easy system with an immersion pump trasheru it's always with us here is my wetsuit for surfing and the wetsuit for fishing plus it's the laundry is where we keep it soon we're gonna it's a little bit old we're gonna put a pvc material here so even with a heavy rain will not have any problem inside and here it's the gas boiler the one that we always carry around in the last five years but now it's static it's here so it's always connected i don't have to take it out and connect it to the gas for the inside shower the indoor shower and for the sink in the kitchen so it's a really nice things and if my friend Alessandro can just go down, down, down here, I put a new gas tank. It's uh, 16 liters and I want to change the old one because it was rusty and usually you have to change every 10 years. So I bought this one in UK from LPG UK and it really works very well. Here we got our portable grill for some barbecue and the last things on this side it's still my surfboard that was gave to me by Felipe in Portugal we just have two really easy hangers with a plate inside and it's really useful to have all these things outside and the last thing it's the other window that we put here so even in hot days we can have a really nice hair flow inside driving area we change a little bit some stuff it's more for aesthetic point of view so we bought new foam for the seats and the same person that did the dinettes and the mattress recover completely the seats with the same color i also repaint and respray all the dashboard it was funny because fabrizio that is the owner of free road i asked him if we can go a little bit more faster with the job and just 20 minutes later he saw me taking out the dashboard and repainted you know sometimes as we say in italy we did 30 let's do 31 i think i arrived mostly to 70 73 maybe because every time it was like just a little bit step more in order to make things I don't want to say perfect, but as really I want it. We also had some personal touch that sign. It was uh, donated from Maurizio that it's the new name. So from Mark to Markenstein is, is really a mix of different T4 and ideas and a lot of people collaborate to it. As well, we finally bought a nice radio with a screen with the GPS and Google Maps and of course, nice music that we can listen we also upgrade with new speakers and as well a nice subwoofer so that will give us some pleasure also when we drive of course we change this is not anymore a four traveler van it's only a two traveler van because behind the seat is not with seat belts but we're two and the dog stay really happily in the back So this is our new layout inside. We opted for some nautical legs and this gives us a lot of space because the table, it can turn in different position and it's easy to work. When Mel is working, I can easily pass by. She can put the table in this position. We can use it for dinner. We can use it for work. And when we travel, we simply put it back, fix it, and it won't move so that's uh, an ideal situation for us that we both need to work with this table plus there's another one that i will show you in a bit under the couch 
versus all the electrical parts, so the lithium battery, the DC-DC, the inverter, the MPPT for the solar panel. We also create a little bit of space, for example, behind here, there's a hidden place where Mel keep all her books and stuff, so we really try every centimeter to use it for putting all all our belongings. As well here we got a present from BenQ that's a professional 24 inch TV screen. Well it's not a TV it's a monitor and especially for photographer and videographer it works in vertical and as well horizontally of course. I can plug my computer so I can have a big screen where to watch the TV if I want or videos and also edit. So that's something that I will show you in another video because we also have a video projector from BenQ so I'm gonna show you a little bit our working set up and amusement setup. So that's a really a nice thing and it's really easy to take it off. I can just unplug it and put it in one of the cabinets. So I was talking about a second working place. So we got a small table up here in the roof and I can easily put it here on the nautical leg and use it as a working space with the passenger seats. So Mel can work here, I can work here. We can have some kind of aperitif outside if we want. As well, this table can go on the other leg. So it's interchangeable, but we didn't stop only here. We thought, well, can we use it also for something else? And we say, yes, we can use it for the kitchen. That's why I can take it out. And here I can easily open one of the compartment of the kitchen and put it in the position. So in this way, I got all this space to prepare some really good meals. Under the kitchen we got the fridge, 42 liters from Indelby, it's a small one but it's really practical, we can still put a lot of stuff, there's also a freezer if we want some ice and the cool things about this fridge is that the compressor can be placed one meter and a half uh, away from the fridge itself. Then the kitchen we got two can, that's the company that produce these nautical, it's more mainly for sailboats. I find it really useful because the camper van use have to, they used to have these small fires where you can put only one pan and we want a really nice kitchen. We want to enjoy and we actually start to enjoy making food in our own van. As well, we got the sink, Hot cold water, this is always connected to the gas boiler that I showed you before outside. It works for the sink and as well for the shower, that is this one, this is the regulator and I'm right on the shower. I will show you in another video exactly how it works, but it's an Okume plate that needs to be taken off. Then you got some clips at the bottom, we can put this textile all the way around and all these will become our shower and no water will go outside. And I can tell you to have an indoor shower in a T4, it's kind of unique. As well, we got here, usually we place it here while we travel, but we move it here, our small little garden with basil and uh, spinach and some other stuff. This part, there's a little bit of mess here, but it's my place for charging the battery. We got three different USB plugs here, so I can pretty much charge the camera batteries, the drone batteries, the computers, and pretty much everything. Here we got our small library and small items uh, place, so this is a portable solar panel, the hammock, and then here there's some stuff that we use daily, so it's easy to reach. This is the control panel where I can control the light, the external electronics, for example, like the vents and the water pump, and of course the Webasto. Our wardrobe, finally we got one. We don't have the bags anymore, so that's Mel wardrobe, that's mine. There's a lot of space, we got all our stuff that we need here, and at the bottom that's my technical stuff place, so I spend 
pretty much all the winter to organize all my camera equipment with labels on top of this organizer so if I look for something I know where to find it especially it's pretty difficult sometimes even in a small van to find something where you keep all your stuff around and the last one it's mainly a, a working uh, space where we keep some winter stuff my diving suits and gear the toolbox and a few other items like for example the external table the camping table that we don't use that often so but we can have it here and it's easy to reach and other things that i want to show you it's the vent this is the max fun deluxe it's easy to start it we also have a uh, remote control it's really useful when we use the kitchen so all the fumes goes out as well when we have a shower as well to dry this one we tried a couple days ago we just put inside here at the maximum speed and in 10 minutes was dry as well last night was a little bit hot on top in the bed that i will show you in a bit so we just put some air at the minimum speed and after two minutes the temperature was just perfect for sleeping So we arrived to the sleeping area. So pretty much all our project uh, was around the idea of going upstairs to sleep because we're gonna create a lot of usable space for the daily life downstairs. So to make the bed there's four gas struts, it's really easy to do. These is the collapsible stairs to get up to do the bed, I just need to down and here we go the bed it's done we got a five centimeter mattress plus the frolly system that i found really really nice i mean it's already a week that we spend and we sleep in the van it's really comfortable as well we got some side piece of uh, foam and textile that we can put here just to fill the gap in between so we don't have the mattress that goes around so it's a really nice solution it's really easy to make the bed in the morning as well so we got two windows so we can enjoy the star in the night and I really like the idea to sacrifice a little bit towards the sleeping area again the mattress and the bed is really comfortable maybe the way to go up it's more similar to a pop-up roof but downstairs we especially in these winter days and when it rain outside so you cannot go out to do enjoy the sun uh, we have to share a very small place and now got really a lot of extra spaces as well i can use the back door in order to get in and out from the van i think it's kind of a good idea to move the bed upstairs and that's it So I really hope you like the video. I really hope you like the new Mork, Morgenstein. We still need some time to adjust to our new spaces, but so far we're so amazed about the new engine, the 4x4 that give us the opportunity to reach some remote places, even more than before. And even with the indoor and all the new conversion we're still trying to kind of get used to we have different things that we still want to try and we want to add is like few things to add that personal touch to the van but so far we're so excited and you know it will make our life even easier so far so you can give a thumbs up if you like the video if not uh, well it's up to you see you next video